Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing beauty trends of summer 2019. Well, at least trends that I think are in trend. Does that sound right? Yeah. So my personal takes on every summer 2019 beauty trend. Now, the way I analyzed this was, of course, I did my homework. I have my laptop right here with all of my notes. And I'm going to be discussing this as a general whole. I actually have five trends that I've noticed. And this is spread across high-end and also drugstore. So without further ado, let's get into this discussion. Trend number one, bright neon and monochromatic palettes. Now, one of the trends that I've really seen is that every brand is actually launching out palettes with a lot of neon colors or something that's very monochromatic. So for example, Huda Beauty actually just released neon palettes and they're all monochromatic. So there's like a pink, a green, and a purple, if I'm not mistaken. So I realized that a lot of brands have also been jumping out on that, like that bright colored neon trend. For example, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills just came out with one with Alyssa Edwards. I'm not mistaken. So those are just filled with bright neon colors as well. And then of course, Colourpop has been coming out lately with a lot of monochromatic palettes, a lot of them in bright colors as well. They've always done colors really well, but I've noticed that they've come out with like the latest, I can't remember, I think it was a blue one and a purple one. And then was there a yellow one? I can't remember, but they kill it with the colors every single time, like all year round. Um, and then another one that I've noticed was Lorac. Now I use Lorac palettes as well. I have uh, the Pro 1 and Pro 2, and they're all pretty neutral, but I recently saw one of the palettes that they launched and it's just full of bright colors. And I feel like that's really out of the ordinary for Lorac. So you know it's trending when everyone's doing it. The second beauty trend is a monochromatic look. Now, one of the things that I've realized is that many people are doing a full face of the same color. So if they do like an orange lid, they do like a really like orangey red kind of lip as well. If they do um, some purple tones, they always go with like a purple-ish kind of lip as well. Pink, especially like pink has been the color, like neon pink. I see everyone doing it. The lids, the inner corners, the full lip. And I think it's so beautiful. And also like um, if it's not monochromatic, I think it's pops of color. So for example, I did my eyes today with like this pop of blue and then I saw a few beauty gurus that I follow. They have been doing a lot of pop of color in um, the inner corner as well. So they would put something like a neon yellow or like a pink and then suddenly they'll come with like a red lip and I think that's so beautiful. Personally, I don't think I can pull it off. I, I don't know, like, I feel like I may look a little clown-ish. But for some reason, some people pull it off so beautifully. And I think, like, I mean, I'm really jealous of that. But I love the look. I'm super into this, like... Like, I'm super into all this, like, inner corner pops of color look. I think it's gorgeous and I'm for it. I hope it stays. Now, the third trend that I've realized is actually really natural, glowy, dewy skin. Because everyone's been focusing so much on the eyes and the lips and all the neon, I realized that everyone has been really playing down with the skin. And a lot of brands have actually been launching out really natural finishing um, foundations as well. So based on my homework, I've realized that a lot of brands have been trying to implement not just the dewy, but the very light, um, they always, the names have always been like bare. There's always bare, natural, dewy, and then some even with SPF. And I don't know, I feel, I kind of like it because then you just give your, it's, it's kind of like bare skin season, which I love because again, I don't really wear foundation, so I'm all about this trend. For example, a couple of brands like Revlon, they just came out with um, a light dewy foundation as well that launched worldwide. I can't wait to try that. And then um, I have NYX. So NYX just came out with a Bear With Me Skin Tint. 
So this chin is supposed to be like really light, you know, something like um, the one from Glossier and Milk Makeup. Was it Milk? I know Glossier has one as well, like the skin tint. So everyone's really into that. And Maybelline actually just came out with one with SPF as well. That's apparently full coverage. I don't know how that's gonna work. I think it's kind of weird that this SPF and foundation, I've never really heard of that before. I mean, it's new to me. I, I think it's a bit weird, but we'll never know until we try. Now, the fourth beauty trend that I've also realized is actually stick and cream products. Now, it's not like it's anything new. It's always been available in the market, but I've realized that this trend, because I think everyone wants that natural skin look now, that everyone has been also leaning towards stick and creamy products. For example, the Glossier, um, what's it called? The cream blushes? Is it called powder puff? I, I, I can't remember. I just bought some. I'm really excited to use them, but like, I fall alive on me, I can't remember the name, but like the Glossier blushes. Colourpop just came out with a new line of stick products as well. It, it, it was, it was blushes and highlights, if I'm not mistaken. And for some reason, if you check on Instagram and also on YouTube, a lot of makeup artists and also beauty gurus have been using cream and stick products as well. And everyone has been going for the really like natural dewy skin and I am all about it. I love stick products and cream products actually. Like for some reason, as of late, I've been reaching for um, more of my creamier products as well. Again, there's nothing new about this uh, cream stick trend. It's just that there's, an, there's a sudden surge of people just using it. Colourpop, Glossier, and um, Revlon. I can't get my hands on it, but Revlon just came out with this um, cheek flushing tint. I heard of it, I seen it, but I didn't get a chance to buy it because it's like sold out online. But it's a gel formula and it just blends out like a cream. So you know it's, I, I believe it's super in trend right now. And the fifth beauty trend this summer to me is actually all about the body ade ade. It's all about body glow because you know you're going out in the sun, you're hitting the beach, everyone's chilling out on summer break in the US. Well, not in Malaysia, but in the US. And you just want that glow when the sun hits your skin. So almost every brand is coming up with like skin glowing products and shimmery products. Like, so this is one that I bought like last year. But as you can see, it's just gold flecks throughout this body oil. And I feel like every brand now is coming up with it. Um, Fenty came out with it like like last year and for some reason this year everyone's doing it so i actually wrote down a couple of brands mm, patrick ta who do you do it with oh my god i, I can't remember patrick ta he is a celebrity makeup artist and he just came out of a line and he had like you know his body oil as well and um anastasia beverly hills just released one who else who else um l'oreal like drugstore products as well in the u.s l'oreal just released one milani just released one huda beauty just released one i mean like huda beauty released a couple um with different shades i think it's like a tanning uh, body shimmering oil or something. So like every other brand is just launching this and I'm all about it because look at this glow. Like who doesn't want to look like you are a glowing goddess? So yeah guys, those were the top five beauty trends that I believe are trending around summer 2019. Let me know what you think is trending and discuss with me. Like what do you think about my predictions or my research? Because I kind of like to know what you guys think as well. And then, you know, I just like the discussion of it. So if you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree, let me know as well. I would love to hear more and learn more. So until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.